Okay guys, so this is the finale on the um, rebasing of these uh, uh, night goblins. Uh, they're obviously started out as gloom spike git stickers. Um, I just thought uh, I'd show you them um, partially done. Uh, obviously I've got another, how many is there? Nine, there's another 11 um, that um, need to get to this stage. And <coughs> all these stages as well is, <coughs> excuse me, the bases were painted black with a brush and then they've just been painted um, a dark brown by, uh, from AK with a brush. <coughs> I have to confess that uh, doing these has been an absolute ball ache. Um, it, it's not fun at all. Um, the, the paint isn't getting to some places and uh, then it's going on a bit thin in some areas because I'm thinning it down so the black's showing through quite a bit. I'm hoping that um, once I've done some highlighting and whatever um, it will look much better. I've got to confess I added some um, bigger grit to the sand that I usually use for uh, basing figures and I'm not sure it works for me to be honest. I think it's a bit too overscale. Now you can argue that um, you know, obviously they're going through a, some of them are going through a rocky area of, of, of the, um, I don't know, the, the muddy patch that uh, they're walking through. But um, yeah, I, I, I think I probably would have been better sticking with my, um, just with the one um, sand um, size that I usually use. But we shall see. Uh, as I say, it's, um, the, these are at this stage but I've got another 11 to bring up to this stage yet so it's a long process which um, I hadn't expected. Right uh, so the next time you see these they will be completed so I'll catch you in a bit. Okay so just another update all um, 20 uh, night goblins have been painted in the brown now. Um, unfortunately it went uh, some places on the figure where it uh, wasn't intended. So what I've got to do now is um, this is the dark brown that's on the bases. So I'm going to mix 50-50 um, dark brown and golden brown from AK and that will be the first highlight and then golden brown will be the final highlight. And what I'll do then is uh, I want to put some flocking on them, uh, sorry some grass tufts um, on them just to break up the colour a bit uh, or the, the monotony of just uh, having brown bases uh, I need to edge the bases as well black again because the, again the browns um, splurged on things so I've got about I think I've got about three hours before I have to go and pick up the wife from the station so I'm hoping that um, I will get these finished so I'll catch you in a bit Okay guys, so here's the base is all finished and uh, my first regiment for Warhammer Old World completed. Um, I put some tufts of grass on there from Army Painter, they're um, the swamp tufts. Um, and I just glued those on just to give a bit of variation to the colour of the base. Um, just a reminder to anybody who's interested, the uh, base is were initially painted black, then they were painted dark brown by AK which is 11109. Um, then were, I put on a 50-50 mix with um, golden brown which is AK's 11117. Uh, that was the first highlight and then the final highlight was just uh, golden brown. I have in the past uh, painted the boulders a different colour. Um, I think I've painted them grey on um, previous uh, bases for other um, wargaming armies but uh, I forgot about that and um, so they ended up the same colour as the as the base it's, itself. So that's it guys, um, I think they look really good. I've just got to go around them now with a small brush and various pots of paint just to tidy up the figures perhaps. Uh, the base of the um, um, clothing and perhaps the uh, spears may have got um, a bit of black or brown on them that just needs to be uh, touched up in the appropriate colour. Anyway, uh, thanks ever so much for watching 
this is the third project that I had on the bench um, from the beginning of Monday morning so I've managed to complete all three so I'm very happy. Uh, look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.